Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Sean Kazmar, 36 years old, got called up back to the big leagues for the first time in 12 years, 206 days. That's 4,589 days between big league appearances. Unbelievable. It's one of the biggest gaps in big league appearances in the history of Major League Baseball. Now, this is cool for a couple of reasons. Number one, how awesome is that? You make the big leagues in 2008 and it takes you over 12 years to get back, but you persevere, you fight through everything, you keep grinding away and you get back there. Unbelievable story. And I've talked about how one of the hardest things to do is to go to the big leagues, see how awesome the major leagues is, and then get sent down to the minors and have to try to fight your way back up because the big leagues is so amazing and the minor leagues is so much not like the big leagues that when you go back to the minors, you're like, what, what the? I don't get the nice flights and the good food and the chiropractor and the massages and the cool stadiums and tons of fans and get paid tons of money and I could probably go on and on and on. But the other cool thing is that Kaz and I are friends. In 2008, his last time in the big leagues was with the San Diego Padres. And I was on that team with them. We played together a lot. We we're both middle infielders. And I want to share what type of person he is and just how awesome this story really is. Now, let's start off with this. I am so happy for him because number one, he is a great person. He's one of the nicest people you will meet. He's always smiling, always happy, always friendly. Just an overall great, great person. And what I really respect about him is the relationship that we had. So let me give you the background here. So he was drafted in 2004 in the fifth round. So a high pick for the Padres. He was a middle infielder. Same with me. Now in 2007, he's playing in double A. I was drafted in 2006. So in 2007, I was playing in single A. Well, he was having a tough year hitting around 200 and I was having the greatest year of my life. Well, the Padres decided to flip flop us. So they called me up to double A and they put him down to single A. So we essentially swap spots. So at this point, we're really competing with each other in our careers. We're basically the same age. We play the same positions. We're in the same organization and we just got flip flop. So I just passed him on the so-called depth chart of the organization. Now I've been around a lot of players that would hold this against someone. All of a sudden they start seeing you as competition. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to be friendly with you. They want to hope that you fail. Every time you get up, they're cheering for you to strike out. Well, this is the exact opposite way that Kaz would act. We actually became really good friends the next year because in 2008, we both got called up to the big leagues at the exact same time. Now we're in the major leagues. We're competing for a starting spot. We're both middle infielders. And again, you'd have no idea. And he became one of my favorite teammates that I ever got a chance to play with. Now in 2009, we both go back down to the minor leagues. I play the next five years in AAA and I never get a chance to get another major league at bat. Well, Kaz goes down to the minor leagues as well. And he plays the next 12 years without ever getting a chance to get another major league at bat. Can you believe that? 12 years. I played five years. It felt like 500 years. He played 12 years. And last year there was no season. So he couldn't even play baseball. And he came back again this year to play. Now for over the last like six or seven years, every single off season, this has literally happened every off season. Laura and I will be talking. All of a sudden she'll look down at her phone and go, did you see Cash sign back with the Braves? Then the next year, we'd be talking and she'd look down and go, did you see Cash sign back with the Braves? And then the next year, we'd be talking. She'd look down on her phone. Did you see Cash sign back with the Braves? Well, a couple of days ago, we were talking. She looked down on her phone and goes, did you see Cash got called up to the big leagues? Now, at first, I thought she was kidding with me, but then I went on the computer and I saw it. This is real and I could not be any more happy for a player. What a great lesson in never giving up, chasing your dreams against pretty big odds of ever getting called back up to the big leagues. And here's a quote from Kaz after his second time around in the big leagues. After the game, he said, I would do it all over again just for a day like today. It was worth the wait to get in and get another at bat. So what a great story. Congratulations, Kaz. And I want to know one thing. Who's going to play him in the movies? Because you know there's going to be a movie at some point. And if you need an extra, if you need someone to get in there and strike out, I've got tons of experience. I can be the extra. I'm your guy. Give me a call. So that's all we have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. Good luck, Kaz. Go deep tonight. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing.
I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.